In this video, we're going to look at the different ways of defining tool orientation in Fusion 360's manufacturing workspace and what tool is best for each situation. Sometimes we encounter geometry on components which isn't accessible in a three axis orientation. To see what's accessible from a selected orientation, you can use accessibility analysis shading within Fusion 360. Everything in green is accessible and everything in red is not. The tool axis orientation is defined via selection of a linear edge, planar surface or a true cylinder. Once we have this information, we know the areas in which we need to leverage tool orientation. The simplest form of setting our tool orientation is via the selection of linear edges, planar surfaces or true cylinders. When a linear edge or true cylinder is selected, our tool orientation will run parallel with this selection. When a planar face is selected, the selection will run perpendicular to the selection. When dealing with 2D geometry, this type of selection is ideal, although this type of selection is not exclusive to 2D geometry. When we don't have geometry like this to reference from, we have a tool called Surface Normal which lives within the tool orientation form. This is useful when the geometry is more free form. Surface normal allows us to reference the tool orientation from 3D surfaces. Any selection made will output a tool orientation that is perpendicular to that selection. When the mouse hovers over the surface, the tool orientation dynamically changes giving the user a preview of the tool orientation before a selection is made. Once a selection has been made, we have the option to further edit the orientation via the grab handles. They can be manipulated for further adjustments. We can also make incremental changes via inputting values into the turn and tilt parameter boxes. Finally, we have a line to view. Occasionally we can see a perfect tool orientation but have no geometry to reference from. This is when a line to view comes into play. A line to view captures the camera view and places the tool orientation normal to that view. In this video, we learnt how to use the advanced tool orientation controls to achieve tool orientations that aren't possible with the basic orientation controls. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.